that? Okay. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello. Welcome to Hamas Foodie Friday. My name is Jessica. This is Kenneth. And he is kind of chopping some things up because tonight, after the first full week of school, we are going to relax a little bit and we are going to have crab stuffed mushrooms. So if you are a fan of seafood, if you're a fan of mushrooms, this is going to be awesome. It is our three um, compliant. compliant. So it is going to be very interesting. If you don't know, we are on our health journey in becoming healthier and being mindful and more um, in tune with what we are putting in our body nutrition wise. Okay. So we want to bring some of the re these recipes to you because they are healthier. And this one is really simple. Uh, we had seen this on Facebook from one of our friends, uh, Missy. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, yeah, the husband is gonna want to do this one. So that is what we are gonna do. And we're gonna actually put the, uh, the crab stuff mushrooms over like a little bed of baby spinach. So I am very excited. So where are we at? Um, I'm getting ready to watch the basil. Oh, okay. The basil? Yes. You pronounce it basil? Hung around with too many British people, I guess. Huh? Hung around too many British people, I guess. Oh. <laughs> it's basil. At least in my world. Hello, Rose. Hello, Jimmy, Rick, Claudia, Art, Bonnie. It's so great to have you guys here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so what we did, what I did first of all, okay, is that I got like these bigger mushrooms here and yeah, we're, I we're not making it appetizer size. We're making it meal size. Yeah, we're making it meal size, not appetizer wise, but this is a great recipe that you could take for an appetizer if you're, you know, you're going to a party or something like this. So hello, Linda, Coco, Rose. So what I did is I got two packages of mushrooms, okay, and you take the stems off them and, and, the, and the gills and the gills and you open them up because we're going to be stuffing, stuffing these. So everything is all ready for the mushrooms. And then what you do is you take those stems and the gills of the mushrooms and you finely chop them. So that's what he just got doing was finally chopping those. We've got our garlic already. Um, we've onion. got our onion. Um, so are we ready to get going? I think. Okay, so the first thing, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the oven because our oven needs to be at 350. And oh, We've got one over here. Um, what we're going to do, we've already used... We have already used the, we've already taken care of the mushrooms, you know. Um, step two is just making sure that the mushrooms are dry and clean, which I know that they are. We removed the stems and gills, finely chopped those. And then over medium heat, we're going to go ahead and add some oil to the pan so that we can saute, okay? Hello, Rowena, Colleen, Jason, DC Legacy, Maria, Tom. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. This recipe is going to be amazing. If you want this recipe, drop recipe down below and we will make sure to get this recipe to you because it is a very good healthy version and um, it's going to be really nice and rich. So I would say that you could probably uh, interchange something different instead of crab if you're not a seafood person. I don't know. If you're not a seafood sure person, I don't have any advice for you. You're not a seafood person. Oh, goodness gracious. What am I going to do with you, huh? Hey, Abs. Um, so once your pan gets warm, we're going to add our diced onion, our minced garlic, and our finely chopped mushroom stem and gills. We're going to saute those for about two minutes, and then we're going to remove from heat. You're going to actually see how quick this comes together. I think the biggest part of it is just getting stuff measured, um, um, chopped, getting stuff measured, um, all of that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the seasonings. I'll go ahead and do the seasonings if you want to go ahead with the... It's got to get hot. 
Okay. So we're a half teaspoon. Okay. So you already have your onion. We've already got our minced garlic. Uh, one fourth teaspoon of dried oregano. So we're gonna need a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. We're gonna need a half a teaspoon of dried basil and a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. I just had to pick up some more thyme because we were like really, really low. Go ahead. My little squish pillow came in. Um, I had just <laughs> I had just gotten home from a trip last weekend and I saw someone walking through the airport with Baby Yoda. I am a huge Baby Yoda Grogu fan. So when I saw that, I was like, ah, I gotta have it. I had it ordered before I even came home from my trip. <laughs> so now, little bit, she is just all over it and she doesn't want to let she it She thinks go. everything that is Grogu belongs to her. That. Yes, exactly. Well, actually, no, I think everything that belongs to mommy belongs to her. That's kind of what she thinks. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Hello, Robert, Dean, Peggy, uh, Rosika, Crystal, Maggie. So I think that's it, because then we'll just do half of the, uh, half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of cream cheese, mozzarella. Oh man, this is going to be so good, you guys. So, so good. So let's see here. Looking for the mozzarella. Looking for the mozzarella. All right, we ready? Nope. It's We're not quite ready. hot enough yet. Seriously? Saute, hot pan. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to me. I'm not understanding that the pan has to be really hot. Hello, Carolyn, Christi, uh, Christiani, Julie, Maggie, Crystal. Hello, hello, you guys. I did um, tag you in it, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, parchment paper. No, I didn't see it in there. Plastic wrap, wax paper, aluminum foil. Parchment? Oh, you're you're looking for your pink butcher stuff? No, that's. Oh, here it is. I was about to say I have freezer paper. No, that's not it. I have freezer paper and I have pink butcher paper over here. I want parchment paper. Mm. And we're going to need another roll. Okay. No worries. No worries. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Wanda. Hello, Mary. Okay. All right. Okay. Is it hot enough now? Because yes. I can smell it. <laughs> How do you know that it's hot enough? Well, this is a tea file pan. It has a little thing in the bottom, and when the little hash marks disappear, then you know it's up to temper. Oh. Okay. Things the husband knows that I don't know, which is fine. Bringing you up a little bit closer here so you can see what he's doing. So you just saute the diced onion, the minced garlic, the finely chopped mushroom stems and gills for about two minutes. And then we are going to remove that from the heat. We'll mix in our oregano, basil, thyme, cream cheese and sour cream, mozzarella cheese and crab meat, seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. And then what we're gonna do is just spoon the mixture into each mushroom cap, sprinkle it with some Parmesan and bake for 30 minutes or until golden, golden, and then woohoo, we get to eat it. It's gonna be so easy, so simple. Oh yes, Grogu will eat anything. The hardest part on some of these things is actually the chopping. Getting it, <laughs> you know, cut the right size. Hey Peggy, what, what are we making tonight? We are making crab stuffed mushrooms. Um, this is our R3 our compliant, meaning well, if you want to know more about R3, drop yep. R3 in the comments. That too. Yeah. It's compliant. It's just nice and healthy. 
one of uh, one of our friends, she had posted this and made it, and I was like, ooh, I, we need to make this. And as soon as I showed it to Kenneth, he's like, yes. Um, another recipe that we're going to be making soon is uh, cauliflower salad. So basically, instead of potatoes in it, you're putting cauliflower. So that's going to be really good, too. That'll be good. We could have that with, like, hamburger patties with no bread. I'm not having bread. You can have bread, I guess, if you want. <laughs> Hey, Mary Ball. It's going to just be so yummy. It's looking good. So how was everybody's week? Let us know down below. How was your week? Uh, the first full week of school for the girls went pretty well. Um, I would have to say that I am not a fan of uh, getting up at 5 in the morning. I'm just not. <laughs> not at all. Do you think you're going to have to cut up this crab a little bit? It's chunks. Yeah. Well, I have to work the hospital this weekend, so yeah, I'll be up at 4.30. I have to be up at 4.30 when I work the hospital just so I can get myself awake <laughs> enough to start my shift at 7 now, in the morning. We're, we're, we're wanting it to just start to caramelize. So just starting to get brown. Okay. And that means that we have kind of broken down the starches. Yum, yum. And... But we, we don't want to turn it into mush. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, you. Hey, Melissa. I missed the beginning. What is Kenneth Frank? Girl, we are making your recipe crab stuffed mushrooms. Yes. That is what we are doing. So, he, um, yeah, he sauteed up the garlic, mushroom, and onion. The garlic, mushroom, and onion, and the, the sauteed it. Now we're going to mix in our oregano, basil, thyme. Yes, we're making your recipe. Yes, we are so excited. <laughs> uh, okay, what? Oh, just start start putting that in there. Yeah. Okay, sure thing. So, since I'm going to be chopping this up. No worries. So Kenneth is going to chop up the crab meat. Um, we didn't get crab like in a can. We got the. Uh, imitation crab chunks so he's just kind of chopping that up to put in here so we can stuff our big mushrooms that we got I wanted an excuse to use the knives yes yes you always want an excuse to use the knives always never fails <laughs> can I put a little extra cream cheese I, I guess okay good not the whole package. Dang it. Why not? Because you're putting in sour cream too. I know. <laughs> did mommy stick the whole package in there? I did not. I did not. There's still some in it. There's a quarter in it. <laughs> How much of this? Whatever it says on the recipe. Oh, okay. Here. Half a cup. Thanks. <laughs> the husband gets after me because I don't always use measurement. And then she'll be like, oh, it has a little too much of whatever it is that she decided to just throw in there. <laughs> it's like, yes. It, you know, the ratio's off. Yeah, because you didn't follow the recipe. But I don't cook by the recipes a lot of times. Yes, I understand that. But you still have to pay attention to the ratios. No. No. Because otherwise you end up with something that tastes way too salty or way too lemony. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So I have that. I'm going to go ahead and dump our oregano, basil, and thyme in here. 
We're gonna put our mozzarella. Mozzarella, half a cup of mozzarella. I'm just gonna dump the rest of this in it. Okay. There's not a whole lot in here. I'm just trying to eliminate the big chunks here. Mm hmm. Yep. Finish the rest of that. I'll just start mixing it up. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. And we did. Um, we did get our cream cheese probably out about 30 minutes before tonight so that it would be semi-soft enough and not difficult to put together. Yum, yum. There we go. So good question, Melissa, on here. Um, Carol, we are making crab stuffed mushroom. Melissa says she loves chopping too. Never too much cheese, Jessica. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. Um, so good question, Melissa. If somebody is not a seafood fan, like maybe they have an allergy to seafood or they're just not a big fan of it, what would you substitute instead of seafood for this? Because I, I had a friend say, can you not, can you make something that doesn't have seafood in it? Like, no. Was that, was that Isis that said that? No. Well, Isadora doesn't like seafood. She doesn't really like seafood. I mean, she ate shrimp for a little bit, but she doesn't really eat shrimp and all that anymore. Her older sister will eat anything seafood. Um, we, and we always had to be careful. We could never have seafood in the house if mama was going to, you know, if mama shellfish. was here. Shellfish. Yes, shellfish. So now I think we just cook with it all the time. And it's yummy. Ooh. So let's see here. Ooh, ooh, that is a good, that is a good option. She said sausage. You know what? Tell them about that turkey sausage that you got. Oh my goodness. So, um, so we had, we had a few wins because uh, we, we started R3 at the beginning of this week and we had a few wins in this household because uh, typically our girls don't eat like what we are making, like ever, they never do. And I had some Texas boneless ribs that we did. Hey, Terry. And they loved it. Um, we had fresh green beans, not from a can, not frozen, but fresh green beans, you know, in those bags that you could just pop in the microwave. Steam them. Steamers. Yep. Um, Marshy, she absolutely loved those. And she doesn't eat green beans. She's not a fan of vegetables. Neither of our girls really are. They just love corn. Okay, corn. Yeah, corn is the only corn. vegetable that and is And little Boo Boo, she doesn't like vegetables cooked except corn. She'll eat raw broccoli and raw carrots, but that's it. So it's very difficult to get vegetables in our girls. Um, and then what else did I... Oh, and then this week we made up some venison, and the girls hadn't had venison before, and made it into taco meat, and they ate that. Now, Kenneth does not eat turkey stuff like... He doesn't okay, eat. I don't like ground turkey. He doesn't like ground turkey. He does. He will not eat turkey bacon. He it's calls bacon. that bacon. It's not. It's not bacon. Um, and I brought home some turkey, ground turkey, and he just kind of looked at me, and I'm like, "This is seasoned one. It was Italian flavored seasoned ground turkey." And I made it up last night. And he comes downstairs, and he goes, "I need noodles. That smells like spaghetti." <laughs> So needless to say, we had some really big, really big wins in this household this week with trying some new things. And it was just really, really amazing. Uh, Terry says, Leanna likes zero veggies. Exactly, right? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like a texture thing. I don't know if it's a taste thing. It's just, it's, it's really difficult, I think, to get kids these days to eat veggies unless you're like starting them on it. But 
when my kids were like really little, like toddlers, they didn't even like potatoes. They didn't like mashed potatoes. They did not like fries. Yeah. They did not even start liking fries until they were maybe five or six years old. I I'm not kidding. I was just kind of blown away. They would not eat mashed potatoes. Um, Only kid on the world I've never seen. I know, right? <laughs> So are you um, going and, to show them what I'm doing here? Yep. And then when I, you know, when when we were feeding them when they were toddlers, we just took what we were eating and I would put it in a blender and I would blend it together. I didn't get baby food. You know, I, I grew up that way. Didn't have baby food. You just took what you, what we had and put it in a blender and ground it all together. Melissa says that she uses ground turkey Taco seasoning on my salad. Turkey bacon looks like bologna. <laughs> yeah, but bologna tastes better. Yeah, but bologna tastes better. And, and, and this guy right here loves fried bologna. So. Well, I'm from the south. <laughs> Have you tasted this yet? No. Oh. I'm still working. So we are stuffing these beautiful mushrooms. So as I said, we got really... Hey, 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 hey. No, I'm not doing... I'm, we got really big mushrooms. We didn't get the little, little ones. Um, like the little button, the smaller ones are great for like appetizers, but we're making this as a meal and we're gonna put it over a, a bed of spinach. So I'm looking forward to it. What's in the stuffing? Whale? <laughs> the stuffing? Must have joined us late, but that's cool. That's okay. The, um, the stuffing is diced onion minced garlic uh we finally chopped up the mushroom stems and gills we sauteed that for about two minutes then removed it from the heat we mixed some oregano basil thyme cream cheese sour cream and mozzarella cheese and uh, imitation crab meat and then you season with salt and pepper to taste spoon the mixture in sprinkle some parmesan and then we're going to stick it in the oven for about uh, 30 minutes or until it's golden brown at 350 degrees. So let's see here. So Melissa says that she does the ground turkey taco seasoning on the salad, yes. Now, I'll tell you this much folks, have you ever looked at what is in taco seasoning? Terry said, it, it, I will substitute bacon for crab. Melissa said oh, another good one is sausage, Terry, okay, substitute sausage for the crab those are nice mushrooms they're going to be awesome yes girl yeah they are substitute bacon or sausage yes sausage is what melissa said um what were you saying about the taco seasoning i didn't want you to feel ignored even though i ignored you for a minute mm. sorry sorry he's having a food orgasm right now <laughs> um so I think what he was talking about is we make our own taco seasoning. We don't buy taco seasoning from the store because of all the fluff that they put in it. Um, they put a lot of preservatives. They, they put do. a lot of extra stuff in there that it really isn't that healthy for you. And you don't need it. And, and, and they do that because when they put it in a package, mm -hmm. they have to have it so that it's stable and it, it, and it will last for you while it's being shipped and everything else. The best exactly. thing to do is to... Um, Buy your seasonings yep. and make up your own. Yep. It tastes better and it's healthier for you. This is one of those things that we're working on, trying to make sure that we know exactly what's going into our food. We make our own taco seasoning. We make our own shake and bake seasoning. We make our own uh, like pot seasoning. roast, pot roast seasoning. Uh, yeah. I made my own curry. So, yep, you make your own curry. We, we make a lot of our own stuff. Um, Terry says, I feel naughty. Oh, boy. Feel naughty because the mushrooms are being stuffed. That's Terry. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Terry's one of my besties. Um, <laughs> those are nice mushrooms. Yes, yes. Alonzo, this is going to be really, really good. Um, Melissa says that she pictures. makes her own version too. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, Melissa Leisure will invite me over. I don't know. You'd have to know her personally, probably in order for her to invite you over. 
So, oh man, this is looking good, you guys. I have not tasted this and I'm going to right now. Oh yeah, that is gonna be so rich. Uh, yeah. And putting that on spinach. Mm. And, and and we're gonna we're gonna basically what I'm gonna do with that baby spinach is I'm gonna toss it into a hot skillet with a little bit of oil and I'm gonna wilt it just a little bit. Kinda almost like our peach stuff that um, we and, and and the reason is is that we we we, we we want to break it down so it's not really stiff and crispy. We we're, we're using it as a bed, and we're also using it mm -hmm. to add in some extra vitamins and stuff. So, okay, we got basil, baby spinach. Okay. So, um, I think you're gonna just when we when we put this on spinach, and then we have the mushrooms on it. Well, I'm we gonna got show some them fresh basil. I'm gonna show them something with that before okay. before we go. Those so. look awesome. I'm gonna fly to you when I make my first 1K, and you all can feed me. Sure thing, we'll feed you. There you go. Look at that, folks. <laughs> Look at that. It's yummy. All right. So we are going to pop it in the oven. The oven is already at 350 degrees. We are going to set our timer for 30 minutes. So our timer is set. And when it's ready to go off, Can you tell we're geeks in this family? Mm-hmm. It will let us know. Okay. Now, here's a question for you folks. Have you ever gotten like a salad or a dish and they had these beautiful thin ribbons of like basil or some other kind of herb on it? Okay. There's a trick to doing this. And, and I'm going to show you. It's actually really not that hard at all. So these are cleaned and dried, all right? And we're just gonna, I'm gonna stack them all up. And then here's, here's the magic part. We're just gonna roll it. Okay. I zoomed you in a little bit, just so they could see it. Okay. okay. And once you get it rolled, you just take your knife and you slice off thin ribbons. Kids, don't try this at home. That's a really sharp knife. And I include myself in that. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not even allowed to touch those. <laughs> None of us are. They are his chef knives. Okay. There we go. Those and, will be beautiful for later. As you can see, you have these beautiful ribbons. Oh, I can smell it. Of basil. Mm. And, it, and I do believe this is called a chiffonade, where you roll it up and you make the little ribbons out of it. So Terry says she needs a new set of knives. What kind are they? Uh, who? Um, these are bear knives. Mm -hmm. B a r e. They're bear knives. And one of the beautiful things about these is that texture that you see on there. When you're doing a lot of chopping, it doesn't, things don't stick to it like they do with a regular flat knife. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Uh, they're also extremely sharp and they're made from very good steel so that they hold an edge amazingly. Um, I got the full set. So, I would say there was seven or eight knives that came with mm -hmm. it. And then There's you little got pairing the big knives. Block. Um, let me get it. Yeah, and you got a big block with it. Yes, we are Star Wars fans in this household. We are Star Trek fans. Um, anything geek wise, Marvel fans more than DC. Uh, Terry says, "Okay, just send them to me for my birthday in two weeks." <laughs> But utility knife, paring knife, chef knife. He's like, where am I going to put these? And I had to create a space for him in the Bread knife. For his knives. I don't know the name of it, but this is a Japanese vegetable knife. It, um, the round edge on it is specifically so that you can rock to do your chopping. 
and then this is the I got a whole salmon that I need to be able to cut um, this is like the bigger version oh, Melissa of this one the force is with you yes yes it is I need all of those right Terry these are really nice knives and, and I, I can post the link and he he uh, washes them right away as soon as they're used so we don't let them sit see I would I would prefer to have these just sitting out where I can get to them easily and everything else. Yeah. <coughs> but with, with some of the mental health issues we have in this house, including me, they're just kept out of sight, yep. but in the kitchen where I can easily access them. And pretty much all the other knives are in your office too. Yeah. But yeah, and then the nice thing about this, this, this magnetic block is like our other bread knife that is safe for everybody else in the mm -hmm. family to use can go right on there. So, absolutely, absolutely love these yep. knives. All right, you guys. So, he is just going to go ahead and take care of the spinach. Um, our meal is in the oven. What smells so good down here? Food. Are you going to try one? It's a stuffed mushroom. Okay, good. We got about 24 minutes of this. We have one child that says she's going to try it. Because it smells so good. Because it smells so good. Um, Terry says, now my husband said I can't have them because of my mental health. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch them, so hey, you know. But anyway. Well, it's not... It, having extremely sharp knives left out where they are constantly in view... Plus is the issue kids. plus we have kids so yeah but anyway you guys we are going to sign off okay um of course we will take pictures um if you're wondering what r3 is let us know drop r3 in the comments yeah um and if you want this specific recipe let us know as we said you can change out the crab for bacon or sausage so that would make it really really good too um if you wanted to go with a vegetarian i suppose you could do mm -hmm. it with like um broccoli bits or not broccoli uh cauliflower bits you know as as, as Did somebody do it with tofu I, I suppose you could do it with tofu as you well could probably do tofu i um, don't do tofu but it, you know the the thing is is um I would, I would, if you're doing it with the broccoli bits, I would throw those in with the mushrooms and everything else at the same time so that they get softened up. Yeah. Because um, you, you, you don't want them crunchy. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, having some bacon that we chopped up yep. and mixed into this would probably be banging as far as these uh, stuffed mushrooms. Mm hmm all right or spinach carol yes we will enjoy dinner it looks absolutely amazing we will take pictures you know that we put that in the comments we will have a great night um i think that's pretty much it what was that the terminal list huh was that the name of that show we found on amazon prime i don't know which one yeah we found a new series We're starting it's, to watch it, a new series it, it's uh kind of like jack reacher and the um the Ryan guy from the Hunt for Red October. We can always put it in the comments. Uh, but we, we kind of like those spy thriller yeah. suspense kind of stuff. So Wendy says hello and have a great weekend. Wendy Stancombe. Hi, Wendy. Hey. So you guys, until our next video, stay true to yourself. Be authentic. Be genuine. Show love to others. And of course... As she's bumping the camera. Stop yeah. bumping the camera. She's trying to get her kitty. <laughs> Peace, love, and photography, <laughs> folks. And remember, everything can make a beautiful image, including you. Have a great afternoon. Bye. <laughs> All right. Toodles.